Jason Duarte and Mark Richardson clash over questions about her baby plans. Jason Duarte and Mark Richardson clash over questions about her baby plans New Labour leader Jason Duarte addresses the AM show presenter Mark Richardson's assertion that asking her whether she has plans to have children is a valid question. Labour's new leader Jason Duarte has told AM show panelist Mark Richardson his comments that employers should know women's baby plans before hiring are totally unacceptable in 2017. Ardern appeared on the AM show on Wednesday morning and told Richardson, one of the show's hosts, had gone too far. Richardson had said, I think this is a legitimate question for New Zealand, because she could be the Prime Minister running this country, she has our best interests at heart, so we need to know these things. Kids and career, your experience share your stories, photos and videos. If you are the employer of a company you need to know that type of thing from the woman you are employing. The question is, is it okay for a PM to take maternity leave while in office? Ardern said it was acceptable to ask her those questions because Shed made it clear she would answer them. But she told Richardson, pointing at him, for other women. It is totally unacceptable in 2017 to say that women should have to answer that question in the workplace. That is unacceptable in 2017. It is the woman's decision about when they choose to have children she said. It should not predetermine whether or not they get the job. Jason de Ardern. It is a woman's decision about when they choose to have children. Mark Richardson, I think this is a legitimate question for New Zealand, because she could be the Prime Minister running this country. When he defended himself, she asked, would you ask a man if they are likely to have kids in the future? Co-host Amanda Gillies didn't share Richard Sun's view, saying it didn't sit well with her that one of the first questions Ardern, 37, had been asked as Labour leader was about her plans for parenthood. Jason Ardern will have to pull off a remarkable reversal of fortune if Labour is to bounce back from historically low polling and win an election that's now less than eight weeks away. She talks to Guayana Spinner. They came on Tuesday just hours after she replaced Andrew Little. When she appeared on the project on Tuesday evening, host Jesse Mulligan asked her if she felt she had to make a decision between continuing to progress her career or having babies. This question was seen by some as anti-feminist. Jason Duarte is 37 and has a partner and she has openly talked about wanting kids. Others echoed Barry's sentiment, saying male politicians weren't asked the same question. A leadership expert says the new Labour leader should be celebrated for her achievements. Some even called the question sexist. However, Ardern took Mulligan's question in her stride, saying she didn't have a problem with being asked about weighing advancing her political career against having children. I've been really open about that dilemma because I think probably lots of women face it, she said. For me, my position is no different to the woman who works three jobs. Or who might be in a position where they are juggling lots of responsibilities. 
You've just got to take every day as it comes and try and see if you can make the best of the lot given. So I'm not predetermining any of that, just like most of the women out here who just make their lives work. Ardern has spoken openly in the past about wanting children and a family. Earlier this year, in an interview with NZME, she said she wanted children and that could make becoming party leader or prime minister difficult. I don't think they are mutually exclusive, but I think they are difficult. If we want Parliament to reflect New Zealand as a society, then we should be able to accommodate both. But at the same time, it's always going to be hard, because a split living, Ardern said at the time. But maybe there's some benefit out there in being a bit more open about the struggles we all have in balancing these things in our lives? Maybe I just need to be open and have some faith that it'll be okay. In a separate article for NZME, written by sociologist Jared Gilbert in 2016, Ardern said she wouldn't be the next leader of the party after little. She said she didn't want to work the ridiculous hours and media scrutiny. And having recently moved in with her partner, Auckland media personality Clark Gayford, she wants to have kids, according to the 2016 article. At the time she said she could have a family and a life as an MP but not as the leader of a party. And definitely not as Prime Minister. <laughs>